We got a great show for you today, as you may know by now. You may know by now. First time this year, Red Sox and the Borings, and we're all over that. Good afternoon, Evan. How are you today, kid? <laughs> now they're just the Borings to Yes, you? that's what they are to me. The New York Borings. They still got the pinstripes. They still got that fancy Uncle Sam type hat that sits on the baseball bat, but they are the New you, York Borings. You are an idiot savant. And I got to give you credit for Thank something. Thank you very much. I had yeah. back here the compliment coming no, my way. I'm about to compliment you, and I don't All know right. if you're aware of this, but I want to give you information that will make you probably happy because you're a big fan of being right. My genius is going to rise yeah. to the top again. Yes. Yesterday, you yeah. threw out just a couple of times shots at Garrett Cole. I don't know if you recall. Yes, I did. You threw out shots about the sticky stuff and the lack of the sticky stuff and the fact that Major League Baseball – is about to come down on pitchers and try to push that yes. out of the game. I said, with baseball now very publicly announcing they're going after pitchers, is it any surprise that perhaps well, that's why Garrett Cole's not throwing well? Craig, I have facts. Would you like to hear a fact? If it's a, if it's a substantiated fact, yeah. Oh, substantiated. Go ahead. Yesterday afternoon at Yankee Stadium, Garrett Cole's spin rate had less evolution than in any start he's made since 2018. I don't know what all that is, but that is, you don't know what I have means. no idea what the hell that it means. means that it's like an episode of CSI. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that means. It means that the RPMs, which is the spin on his the fastball. RPMs? Yes. Like on an engine? Listen, why do you think pitchers use the quote-unquote sticky stuff? So they don't why? hit people in the head? No, no, no. That's, that's the right. reason why batters say, hey, it's okay. Okay. But I think the abuse that's been going on over Better the last grip. few years is to create more spin on their pitches. All right, sure, okay. why not? So yesterday, let Garrett me give you, Cole, let me give you, if I may. Go ahead. Give you a real life a real life example of what Evans talking about. Yes. I play a lot of wiffle ball. Yes, you do. Like an, an, an obscene amount of wiffle ball gets played uh, amongst me and my kids and friends, okay? If you get a brand new wiffle ball, it'll spin. No, no it spins. Sure. You, know, you can throw the big Charlie, the big 12-6er, right? But what you're supposed to do, you may not even know this, with a wiffle ball, is scuff it. Yes. You scuff it, and you take a saw to it, and put certain types of Is cuts. that frowned upon in the wiffle ball no, world? No, it's accepted, actually. Okay. okay. It is a known thing that is accepted. Gotcha. And by scuffing the ball, mm -hmm. and by putting different kinds of cuts into the plastic, you get a much more exaggerated right, right. curve. Right. Okay. Well, that's why... Over the last few years, more and more and more and more pitchers have used the quote-unquote sticky stuff, concoctions of rosin and suntan lotion and pine tar and whatever. So Garrett Cole's a cheater. No, I didn't say that. I'm just supplying you some evidence that was supplied on Twitter by a guy named Max Goldstein who follows this stuff. Yeah. That the spin on Garrett Cole's fastball, specifically his four-seams fastball yesterday, Featured the least amount of spin in any start he's made in three years. So perhaps is that I'm a right. coincidence? I don't think so. I, I, it doesn't look like it's impossible. One. So here's what we're saying. Or and I, we did not talk before today's show. So here you go. The allegation now is that Major League Baseball announced before the Yankee game yesterday afternoon that they were now going to really go out of their way to go try to catch guys who are using foreign substances on the ball. Mm -hmm. uh, pitchers, obviously, right? And because they knew that that was going to happen, and the Yankees were the first game played yesterday, I believe. There may have been a 1 o'clock game. Uh, Red like, Sox played during the day as Red well. So all right, so it was one of the first games that was played yesterday, right? That Garrett Cole did not want to get caught. Well, listen, that's what Craig is saying. So you're accusing <laughs> Garrett Cole of being a cheater. No, 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 no. I'm giving you Evan facts. Roberts. I am not. I am giving you a fact that I thought was interesting. Very interesting. I thought it was very interesting. I'm not making any accusations. Yes, you are. You are. No, no, you are. I'm just pointing out something I read last night yeah. that I didn't realize. Because when I'm watching a baseball game, and I love baseball, I watched all three hours and 45 minutes of the Met game last night. Can you send Billy McKinney and Luis Rojas, keep Pete Alonso in the game? All right, that's it. No one watched it. I understand it. It's off my chest. I watch a ton of baseball, Craig. I can't tell the spin rate on every pitch. How, how can I tell How that? could you tell? So when I see that his RPMs were lower or the spin wasn't as spinny as some may say. Yeah. 
for the most in any start in three years. He's yeah, so cheating. peculiar. That tells you that for the last three years, Garrett Cole was using some type of substance. He did not use that same substance yesterday. As a result, his spinny spinnerson was less spinny. And as a result, he got shelled. And he did get shelled. I know he had like seven or eight strikeouts as well. But Garrett Cole had his worst start of the year. And it's not close. So perhaps you're about to see a major change in well, baseball from a standpoint is, of batting averages, yes. of strikeouts, Let's see though. et cetera, Bucre. et cetera. Let's see. And the same goes for Garrett Cole. Okay, this was an awful start. He had two good starts before that and one bad start before that. If this leads to Garrett Cole struggling every five days, yeah. then yeah, even a guy like me would say, whoa, what's going on here? I'm not jumping to conclusions after one start. I just... Thought it was important to give that information to you. Yes. And have that information out there publicly well, for all of us to digest it and make whatever decisions or non decisions we well, want to make. Here's because what it knowledge does. is power. It lends itself to what I kind of half jokingly said yesterday, which was well, clearly he's not using stuff because he had a terrible outing. You did say that. And you I was really kind of half heartedly saying it. You know, just for the sake of, hey, well, i got to find some reason why my best pitcher, second pitcher in baseball, you know, got shelled, right? Yes. Whereas Yarbrough is going to throw a complete game against the New York Yankees, and uh, perhaps we have it. So, don't we have people that cover the Yankees at this radio station? We do, yes. So, why don't we have mask? Ask whom? Ask Gary Garrett Cole. Cole. Well, I'll tell you this. We have Aaron Boone on today. I'm sure as hell going to ask him about it. Yes. And look, Aaron's probably going to. Oh, what's he going to say? Garrett's been using pine tar. <laughs> no, he's going to deny, deny, uh, deny, after deny. masturbating with lotion, he saves a little <laughs> so that he can get a better spin rate. I don't think he's going to say that. And I don't care what Garrett Cole's game day behaviors are before the game. If that makes him a great pitcher, then start spanking it. I don't really care. But it's interesting. If the numbers are accurate, and I don't know where this Goldstein fella got the numbers, but if it's accurate, it lends itself to what I first said yesterday. There are going to be guys, and I don't think it's long-term, because I, I don't think baseball is going to worry about this every single day. It's a, it's a news story today. And, and it's a news story because batting averages are so yeah. down and offense is so down, which is leading to statements like you, yeah. which says boring baseball, boring baseball. It is boring. Well, yes. they don't want that. Right. They, they don't. want offense in baseball. Well, That's where this is coming perhaps from, Perhaps they dude. shouldn't have changed the baseball this year, which they acknowledged that they did. Right? Yeah, but... Mm. Look, mm. scuffing of the baseball has always been something that's been frowned upon and has been considered cheating, whether it's Gaylord Perry or whomever. You know, it's just become so accepted that everybody's doing it. Yeah, by the way, I love how people mishear what I say on this show. Real quick, Jeff's in Shelton, Connecticut. Jeff, what's on your mind, Pank? Hey, Craig, yep. so I'm from the hometown of the Wiffle Ball. Well, then so send me a couple that. cases of Wiffle Balls. I, I would love to. I'd actually love to play you in Wiffle Ball. You have no uh, chance against me in Wiffle Ball. I have I've the greatest oh, slider ever seen. Yeah, demand. because you cheat, because you, like, saw it's into not the cheating. Wiffle Ball. That is, why, that is why I'm calling. It's not cheating. Craig, you want to scuff up the ball. That's kind of frowned upon, but people do it. It but is not frowned upon saw, in Wiffle Ball leagues. Taking a saw to the ball. No, that is a You cannot do that. If you did that in Shelton, the home of you would be thrown out. Hold on, time out, time out. No, that's not true. Have you ever played in an an actual real wiffle ball league? They're in the Nutmeg State games in Connecticut. So it's actual sport. I'm not saying that the wiffle ball company, sir. I'm not suggesting that MrWiffleBall.com wants you scuffing the balls. What I'm saying is the players that play all agree Jeff, the ball must no, be no, scuffed. No. Jeff, what Craig, is, what Craig is saying is in his home, yeah. you can do whatever the hell you want to the wiffle yeah, ball. It, it, That's it, it, what he's Craig, saying. I respect that. In your home, you want to play by your rules. That's fine. Wait, so hold on. You're but telling if you me come, if you if went and played in a and sanctioned – hold on. You're te- you sir, road, sir, 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 <laughs> sir. You're telling me, Jeffrey, that in a sanctioned <laughs> wiffle ball game, you can't scuff the or saw the balls? You can dirty the ball. I'll give you that. Thank People you. don't necessarily like it, but taking an actual saw blade to the ball and making an incision in the ball so no, you can throw I- it better. That, no, that is where the line is drawn. People do dirty the ball. Yes. I'm not a fan of it because, you know, Hey, if you want the ball dirty, you know, 
I don't know why you need that. It's not like the MLB wow. where you need player safety. I mean, I guess forget about Major League Baseball. Spread. No one cares what we're talking about. Wiffle ball. <laughs> no, Greg, nobody cares need... about what they're doing in the pros. We're talking about backyard wiffle ball. And I want to be clear. I'm not cutting, you know, the plastic off or out. I'm then, not, what you, then what are you specifically doing? I'm not doing? making the holes any larger. I am doing nothing at all to the whole structure of the wiffle ball. Then what are you doing? Okay. Here's what I'm doing. Because it sounds like you are. I'm not. In between each hole. So there's like a hole and then plastic. Hole, plastic, yeah. right? You yeah, know? I'm familiar uh, with a wiffle ball. On the plastic part in between the holes, I'm taking like a, um, like a, uh, what you call it? <laughs> a switchblade thing. Not switchblade. What do you call those things? A Swiss Army knife. One of the Swiss Army knife blades is a serrated blade. Mm-hmm. I'm taking a serrated blade and I'm making two X's in between every single hole. Yeah, so you're you're damaging the ball. Yeah, I'm not done. You're changing the structure of the ball. No. The, yes. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Then on the bottom, I'm making a chessboard. Right. On the bottom. Eight lines across, eight lines up and down. Then on the top, I'm making like diagonal scratches. And then I scuff it against the cement. Dude. What are, we, what are we talking about yeah. here? You're scuffing the ball. You're yeah. changing the ball. That's called a game day wiffle ball. Listen, in the Carton household, maybe. But if you went to play anybody else, I doubt they'd be okay with that. Evan. Yes? I play by official wiffle ball No, you rules. play by the Carton wiffle ball rule. <laughs> well, and I respect that. If you ever invited me to your home to play wiffle ball, I would respect your rules. We've adopted the official wiffle ball rules. Yeah, you've created them. You know, the greatest wiffle ball player alive. Wiffle Jimmy ball. Wiffle, right? No. A guy whose tagline is wiffle ball 28. <laughs> Mr. Wiffles, they call him. <laughs> he teaches you how to scuff the ball. Because in every sanctioned wiffle ball league, you're allowed to dirty the ball. It's already a ball that can move a lot because of the wiffles inside. Why the hell do you need to scuff it anymore? Because I want to be able to look at you, yes. get on, throw my slider, and have it hit Big Mac over there. <laughs> That's okay. why. Okay. I get about a nine-foot curve on my on my slider. Wow. You can't hit yeah, it. That's incredible. I'm unhittable. That used to be Garrett Cole. Yes. <laughs> and listen, if you gave me a real wiffle ball out of the box, totally unscuffed. How many feet slider? I'm hittable. Oh, okay. I've become a so hittable So you guy. have to scuff it up yes. to become dominant. Yes. That sounds familiar. That is correct. Huh. Yes, indeed. And you ask anybody out there that plays wiffle ball, you can all call in right now. You all agree with me because I'm right. I'm always right. Interesting. Sometimes it doesn't seem that way at first, and you have to wait a couple days, <laughs> weeks, or months, or years, but eventually <laughs> everything I say turns out to be accurate. <laughs> Meanwhile, we should tell you, and I know it's kind of a damper because, you know, the Knicks lost, they're eliminated, and because the Yankees did get blown out yesterday. So And the Mets played so late, very few people and you know, the to watch Islanders it. actually lost, too. And the Islanders lost in overtime. Brad and the Nets Marshawn, yet, so. Varley's got to make that save, even though he was awesome last night. So but go ahead. Here's, so I get why New York might be a little, a little down. As you know, I'm never down. Mm-hmm. And I'm certainly not going to be down on the Friday night that the Boston Red Sox come to town for the first time this year. This is very late. For the Red Sox and Yankees to be meeting for the first time in a season. Mm. All, and at Yankee Stadium. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's exactly what we as New Yorkers needed. Now, you're not a Yankee fan, but you'll appreciate what I'm saying. I can't stand Boston, and I just finished right. off Boston in one of my teams. You hate Boston. Yes. So tonight is the rebirth of the New York sports fan. We've had two days to overcome the New York Nick debacle against Atlanta. It's done with. Tonight. New York sports starts again as the Yankees take on the hated Boston Red Sox. And I can't wait. I'm locked into this. So they're not boring tonight, like a then. fat guy to chocolate. So not boring tonight. They could still be boring tonight. <laughs> okay. It's, the, it's conceptual. <laughs> the concept of Yankees-Red Sox. Yes. Tonight at Yankee Stadium. And a former Yankee pitching for the Red Sox in Nady Evaldi. Okay. And Alex Cora be in there where you can chant obscenities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like all that stuff. You like that one? I mean. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm pumped up for it. 
I am. Well, yeah, I, these Red Sox is always fun, especially I'm, now that the Red Sox are good again. They suck for a couple of I'm years. I'm just hoping that the New York Borings actually don't bore us this weekend. <laughs> and I'm going to tell that to Aaron Boone who joins us later today. How do you think he's going to respond At 5 o'clock. That? When you say, listen, Aaron, don't bore us this yeah, weekend. I'm going to tell him. I'm gonna, you know I'm going to tell him. <laughs> oh, I know I you say, will. listen, I can't take this anymore. I'm trying to watch. You're making it very hard to watch. It's so effing boring. So I'm going to tell him. We'll see how he responds to that. I will ask him what he thinks about Garrett Cole cheating. <laughs> right? We'll find out. We ask all the probing questions when the managers <laughs> join us, right? Real quick. Here's Mark in South River on the fan. Yo, Mark, what's up? Love you, Craigie. Love the show. On my way home every day, I listen to it. All right. Craigie, two things. You can't be more dead on that wiffle ball comes out of the box. You smack it on the ground a few times and more control. Second thing. You can't throw on the box curve. Don't look at that box and think you're going to throw a ball like that. No. It has to be scuffed. Got to be scuffed. More than you could imagine. You yes. are dead on, Chris. Yep, I appreciate that. I know I am, but just having your backing makes me feel just that much better. I don't think anybody was disagreeing with that. I think the question was, is that frowned upon in the wiffle ball community? No. Not, not does not. that cause it to move no. more? So it's not. Okay. It causes you, Evan, yeah. you more control of the ball and that, Nine foot curve. If you didn't do it, like Craigie said, becomes a five foot. By the way, yeah. this sounds very familiar. This is this feels yeah. like I'm talking about Good Major job, League Mark. Baseball Appreciate right it. now. And the batters prefer it too because you want the pitcher to have complete no. control of that wiffle ball. It sucks when you're batting, you can't hit the ball. <laughs> I'll tell you another thing that some people frown upon, but I don't. Black electrical tape around the bat. Oh my god. Yeah. That's a key one, Boy, too. you are a yeah. renegade cheater when it comes to wiffle ball. I'm trying ball. to win wiffle ball games. You cork your bats. You're scuffing the balls. You're juicing in between innings, probably. Well, I can only imagine. Well, if Jack Daniels' uh, Tennessee Fire is juicing, then I'm juicing. <laughs> You're juicing. But, up. yeah, black electrical tape huh. around the handle of the bat. Big Mac knows what I'm talking about, right? Absolutely. We used to take wet newspaper. We used to cut the top of the handle off, shove it with wet newspaper, yeah. and then retape it with black electric. Yeah, we would take our Super Bowls and do that. Yeah. We would cut the top off, Super Bowl, and then duct tape the top back on. Mm. And, you know, invariably, the top would come flying off, yeah. and 20, <laughs> with, 20 bouncy Super Bowls <laughs> would hit the pitcher right in the face. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I can't wait. Is it going to be nice this weekend or oh, no? 90 degrees yeah, and it's sunny. To be hot. Oh, yes. You like it that hot? Yes. Right. I can take my shirt off. Yeah. I can get a tan. Yeah. And I can play some wiffle ball. You're going to play shirtless wiffle ball oh, all yeah. weekend? All weekend. Good for you. You want to come over? You can. I'm going to the Nets game Saturday well, night. Well, then you can't come over. Sorry. Well, you didn't ask me about Sunday. No, no, I didn't invite you for Sunday. Mets don't play till four. Yankees don't no. play till seven. Sunday seems good. Not good so for what time should I be there? 8 a.m.? Is that too early? Why, by the way, 10 a.m. If you ever show up at someone's house before like three in the afternoon, what? You're a real douche. <laughs> I didn't do yeah. it on invite. I'm asking you, what time do you prefer? Yeah, well, not this weekend. And then next, the weekend after that's Father's Day, I think. Yeah, no, I'm not going over there. On so Father's I'm thinking Day. the weekend after Father's Day. Yeah, we'll see. We might be having the big uh, wiffle ball tournament that yeah, we'll weekend. We'll see. We'll see where the Nets are. Or don't come. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's a, that's a good possibility. Yeah. One less turkey burger I have to make. <laughs> Because Al's coming. i got to make two. Uh, 221, Carton and Roberts on the fan. 877-337-6666. 